What's up guys? So in today's video I wanted to talk about the Bitcoin price action and the Litecoin price action in terms of USD as well as touch on the new news that just came out, the devastating news about the YouTube headquarters shooting and I wanted to give my thoughts on that near the end of this video. So welcome to this channel Coinstar1337 so without further ado let's get started with the Bitcoin price action. Now in my last video let's just do a refresher on what I said here ultimately what I see is us going down to retest this previous support level at six thousand dollar range and then going down further to retest the five thousand dollar range okay so we still have yet to hit the six thousand dollar mark on the head but we have gone down to this sixty seven hundred dollar range so that being said, we've been hitting a lot of support right here. The question is, are we going to bounce off of the support level or are we going to fall through this and continue to go further like I was originally thinking? Um, looking at this right here, I definitely um, I can see us going down further, guys. Now, we could possibly get a, a, a bounce. There is about a 50% chance, guys, that we can get a rally over the summer to the $10,000 range. Maybe even go as high as the $14,000. But ultimately, guys, I still see a lower possibility for Bitcoin to go on down, go underneath that 6,000, hit that 5,000. And what I really would like to see is a retest of this $4,000 range, maybe even as low as 3,600 before we go up. Okay, that's what I'm really looking for. And long term, I see Bitcoin going up way higher than this $20,000 previous high but it's gonna take time I see this happening maybe five years down the road maybe ten years down the road before we can start to see this retest this and go way way higher this is just the way markets have to be you know some people are upset I'm not a Bitcoin hater I would love to see Bitcoin go straight up and we never have any down days but I'm just saying guys it's something that you have to prepare for if you're hopping into Bitcoin to try to make money all right, guys, now let's take a look at Litecoin. Same thing going on with here. We're at a support level on the Litecoin charts at this $100 range through this $120 range. It's a nice little support there. And that really is going to have to hold if we want to continue to see this bull run. But uh, how it's looking here, guys, it's a possibility we can get below that 100 And if we go below that $100 support right there, I can see it going all the way down to retest the $60 range. And maybe on a panic, we can get as low as $40 uh, on the Litecoin, kind of like what Charlie Lee mentioned once back in December. So those are my thoughts on the price. This is not financial advice. I am definitely not a pro or a financial advisor. This is just me throwing out some predictions that I think could happen. Uh, take this with a grain of salt because like I said ultimately though Litecoin and Bitcoin I see them going up way higher than their current prices it's just going to probably take a while for that to happen now before I leave I did want to talk about the YouTube headquarters shooting that just happened the devastating news came out yesterday that somebody came and shot up the YouTube headquarters now I don't know how to pronounce her name just right because uh I don't want to butcher anything like that, but long story short is it seems to be she shot up the YouTube headquarters because she was frustrated with YouTube demonetizing her channel, deleting her videos, and things like that. Now, we've all recently seen a wave of the YouTube demonetization last year, even into this year, and people's videos and their channels being deleted. I myself have had many of my channels deleted out of the blue for no reason back in the past and it's like if you're a smaller YouTuber, there's really no one you can talk to to get your channel back. You just have to start a new channel and build your audience all over again. So I understand the frustration that she must have felt, but that is still no excuse to take that frustration and turn it into going and shooting up YouTube. I would think a better option would, would be 
to take that frustration and go to another platform okay so YouTube is screwing you over well start using something else like DTube start using something else guys because the more people who move off of YouTube it takes the power away from YouTube and it puts the power to the platforms that are actually treating their users right okay and I feel like that's what we need to be doing more in online and on the internet especially when it's just as simple as signing up to a new account you don't have to do anything but spend a few minutes and sign up to that new account on to DTube or let's say you know you're getting fed up with Facebook alright there's plenty other social networks out there there's decentralized social networks out there that you can hop off of get your friends and your family to move over there tell them the reasons why and we can move we can expect change peacefully and without a bunch of drama you see what I'm saying so those are my thoughts on things although like I said I do understand the frustration with YouTube a lot of people have been having frustration with the YouTube's new changes and policies but I think ultimately the best opportunity, I mean, the best um, course of action is to move off of YouTube and onto the platforms that are actually treating their users right. For instance, DTube. Speaking of DTube, guys, I'm going to put my plug in here for my channel. I have a DTube account. And I'm going to leave that in the description down below. So that's going to go ahead and conclude this video. Check back in about a month or two. I'll be making an update depending on what these prices do. If they move a lot quicker, I may be making an update sooner. But check back on my channel. Be sure to subscribe here. Be sure to subscribe to my DTube so you can get all the updates. All right, that's going to go ahead and include this one. I've been CoinStar1337, and I'm out.